Hey guys and welcome to the first video in this new C++ tutorial. Um, in this video we're going to talk about variables and data types and I've made this new tutorial um, about C++ because C++ is a really uh, efficient and also like a great language to learn and it is one of my main languages and I just like it because you can do like whatever you want to do um, in it. And I'm going to create this tutorial um, alongside some other tutorials where we're going to use C++ in those. For example, I'm going to make a tutorial about, or like a playlist about um, algorithm and data structures, and we're also going to like have a have a tutorial on computer vision and, and artificial intelligence and stuff like that. So we're going to use C++, and I'll probably also have some Python examples of in, in those tutorials where where we just mo mostly and and like mainly use a C++ because it is such an efficient and like in, in a fast way and it's very memory efficient uh, because you can like you can like store the variables in the memory and you know uh, like how much of the memory it takes up like variables and stuff like that. So it's a very important um, aspect in fast fast like when you when you want fast programs in computer vision and machine learning and stuff like that and you really like want to do the program and you know what the program is, is doing in, in every step and how much like space and memory and stuff like that it takes up and how fast it executes your code. So yeah, let's jump back into the video and in this video like we're talking about variables and data types which is just like um, to get started with C++ and know like the basic stuff but it's still really important uh, to know especially like data types and like the sizes of data types so you know like how much memory it takes up. Um, and the first example here is like what is a variable and a variable is in C++ is we first give it a, a data type which is could be an integer or a float value and stuff like that and then we can give it a variable name in this case we give it h and then assign 20 to that um, variable name which where uh, 20 will be the var value that we store in this variable name and then this variable name has a data type which is an integer so in this case 20 is an integer and when we assign that value to our variable we like kind of store it in in our ram so in this example down here we have the um, the, the ram memory um, a block of ram memory and then when we assign that value 20 to the to the valid variable then it will be stored in the ram as you can see down here in the example so like 20 will be a part of the memory and we can also like get the address or uh, write that uh, not add that value to a specific address in our ram so it's very efficient and we, we kind of know like um, like how we can do stuff and also like how we can manage stuff in, in the memory and, and optimize and stuff like that. So it is, in C++ there's also like uh, different types of variables and we have like the local variables which is just only known inside like a scope. So if you have an if statement or a loop or a function like that variable if you um, define it inside there like it is only known in that scope and if you go out of the scope you don't know uh, it doesn't know the, the variable any longer so and then th that leads us to the to the global variables where a global variable you can, like you can define a global variable um, and then the program knows that variable everywhere in the program so you can use it in if statements and functions and stuff like that and it's just known everywhere in the program then there are some static variables which is like kind of Kind of like a global variable because it is known all the way through the program but it is allocated in the memory and um, static so which means that like you can't can't really destroy it after it has been uh, after it has been defined and it will run through the, like the whole lifetime of the code then there's automatic variables and stuff like that like we will go more in depth uh, with these types of variable but uh, an automatic variable is just like it can it can automatically uh, assign a data type to that variable um, which is very efficient sometimes when you don't need like you don't need to like declare it as an integer or a short integer or something like that like you just call the automatic keyword and it will find out itself if it should like be an integer or a short integer uh, in terms of memory efficiency and then we have to like the different uh, data types in C++ uh, where we have like the primary ones where we have the integers and floats and, and characters and stuff like that like just the basic stuff and then we have uh, the derived ones where we can have a function, array, pointers and stuff like that. Like we're going to use a lot of functions and also arrays and pointers. Like pointers are, are like one of the most important thing in C++ because you can you can like get pointers that is pointing to a location in the memory and you can assign value to that 
uh, pointer or you can reference to that pointer and you can like see what is in this address in the memory and you can like write a variable to it to, to a certain uh, address in the memory and then there's of course user defined uh, where we have classes and, stru and, and structures and, and like that so yes yeah, C++ is also in like an, an object or a programming language where we can use classes and we're going to use classes a lot in, in later videos like and then I told you about that in, in C++ like data types, the sizes of the data types are very important because then you then you can like you make your program faster and more memory efficient. So in this case, we've talked a bit of, talked a bit about like integers and short integers. And in this case, if you declare a variable as an integer, you take up like four bytes in in memory, and then it has a range. Like you can an integer, it can be like a number from uh, some range to um, in in a range. And then if you use like the short integer, if you have, if you don't want your number to run to like more than like 32,000, like you can, you can just use the, like the short integer and it will be only two bytes in the memory that is, that is allocated. So it will be like more memory efficient and stuff like that. So it's, it's really important to know like the different sizes of the data types in, uh, in C++ to make your program faster and also more memory efficient. And that's really like the most important thing in, um, in C++. So we're going to jump into the Sublime Text, which is the um, text editor I'm going to use in this tutorial. Um, you can also use the Microsoft uh, Visual Studio or any any IDE you prefer. But if you download, like, the, if you're on Windows and you download Micro, Microsoft Visual Studio, it already has a C++ compiler um, installed. So that that's pretty good. But to, to open up a, a new file here in Sublime Text, I just go up to like the folder I want to create a new file in, and then I right click and and press new file. So when we open up a new file here in C++, um, first let's let's just save the file. So I go into and, and save the file and we just say like um, variables, variables like, and then dot C++ because we made a, made a C++ file. And then first of all in C++ we have to like um, import the, um, like or include, we have to include the standard library which is the IO, IO stream library. So we do this kind of way and I'm just going to type using namespace std so we don't have to uh, type std every time we're using uh, a function from the standard library in, in, in C++. And then we're going to, to create our main function here with where all of our code are going into. And then if some when the ter if program terminates and um, we just return zero in, in, the, in just in case. So you don't really need to return zero but it's just like uh, good programming and like a pro good programming and thing to do. So in this case, we're first going to like declare a global variable up here outside the main function. So the first one here, we just declare an integer by writing the int keyword, and then we give it a variable name which is number and assign the value to it. For example, just five. So now we have created a um, a global variable here in in C plus plus, and if we go down here in the main function. We can just like output the um, output the number to the console. So we use this C out um, function from the standard library, um, and then we use like these two uh, less than less than um, um, symbols to like say that we want to um, output this thing here to the terminal, like to the C out, and then we type in the number, and we can also like end line to just like. The next thing will execute on, on the next line in the terminal. And to run the program here, I just hit Control B. And we can see it finishes in 1.4 seconds and it prints out five, which is indeed like the number uh, we declare up here as, an, as in the variable uh, number. We can also like have a, a double, so we use a double keyword here and then we can say that it's, it's, a, it's a floating mm, floating point number. And we just assign a floating point value to it, like 5.2. And we can down here just fast and type in floating number and hit control B and it will print out 5.2. So like we can use these kind of different uh, data types um, as I just showed you in the presentation uh, by writing like the, the keyword in front of the variable name. And we can also like like have like, a character if we are using letters or, or strings like, uh, and like that. Um, we're going to talk about strings in later videos because they're like a, a bit special, but it, it is pretty, for basically just an, an array of characters and um, a string. So in this case, we're just having the character letter. 
and we just say that the character is letter is A. And we can go down here and print it out as well. So we say floating, oh, wait, not floating number, like letter. And we print it out and it will say A. So like this is like more the basic stuff in Python and how to declare and give it a, a data type, a variable, a data type. We can also like declare multiple variables um, in the same line. For example, if we have like x, y, and z coordinates and stuff like that, we can have like an integer x, which is equal to one, and an, an integer y, which is equals to two, and an integer three equals uh, c equals three. And we have declared like these three variables in, in one line. And it is then possible to like go down here and, and write it out or use it in other um, different functions and stuff like that. So if we, for example, define something inside our main function here, like it would be a club as like a local variable and we can only use it inside the scope. So if we go down like here or up here, like we don't know uh, the variable because it's like it's defined uh, local and it only exists within um, the scope it is defined in. So we can also like do some, some different uh, types of, of casting and stuff like, like that between the different uh, data types. If we, for example, have like the integer pi and we set it equal to 3.14, we can see that this is a floating point number and this is an integer. Um, so it doesn't really like, it's not the real data structure for this number, but if we try to just print it and we print the pi, we get an, oh, I just forgot the semicolon. And if we print it out, it will round it down to three. So if we even had like, 3.9 like it, it always rounded down to like the to like the nearest integer like uh, rounded down to like the nearest integer so this this in this case it will round down to three and stuff like that and if we for example had a floating point number five and we try to print that out we can see that it says five so we can we can use floating point numbers as integers but we can't use integers for uh, for floating point values so then we will cast it to uh, to um to an integer if we try to like assign a floating point number to an integer and so like we're going to talk about a bit about more casting in, in later videos but it's just like to show you what happens if you use it the, 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 a wrong data type so uh, like that's one of the most important thing in in, in c++ is like you, you should know the different types of data types and when to use a different kind of data type because they're important and it's not just like in python where you just say like pi equals to to this number and then it just knows that it, it's a floating point number so there's some benefits and some disadvantages but it is mainly because you can make your program faster and more uh, memory efficient and yeah i just think that this is this is probably it for this tutorial and and this video like this video and we've been going over like the day, different kind of data types and the most important thing is just to like uh, remember that you have to use the right data type and you you have to know like when to use the, the, um, some some kind of data types and stuff like that so yeah i really i really appreciate that you you've watched this video and i hope you will follow along in in later videos as well and um, as i said in the beginning like i'm going to do some some more tutorials alongside this where we're going to use the c++ language uh, for computer vision and artificial intelligence and stuff like that so I probably make this um, YouTube tutorial here uh, because if you're not familiar with C++ then you can like have a base here before you're going into like the computer vision and artificial, artificial intelligence with here that, that I'm going to make in, in another uh, another tutorial um, in the next and uh, upcoming weeks. So that's it for this video guys. Remember to hit the subscribe button and bell notification under the video and also like the video to show the YouTube algorithm that you like this content and you want more of it in the future. And if you're not really into C++ or, or anything like that, like I've also made a Python program tutorial for beginners, which I will post up here. So you can, you can go check that out if you want to. And then I just look forward to like, see you guys in the next video. So bye for now.